Pinkie Pie. This is your singing telegram. I hope it finds you well. You're invited to a party because we think you're really swell. You got me turning one year old to help us celebrate. The cake will be delicious, the festivities first rate. There will be games and dancing, pop for apples, cut a rug. And when the party's over, we'll gather around for a group hug. No need to bring a gift, being there will be enough. Birthdays mean having fun with friends, not getting lots of stuff. It won't be the same without you, so we hope that you say yes. So please, oh please, RSVP and come and be our guest. Next time I think I'll just pass out written invitations. My little pony, my little pony, Ship could be my little pony. until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Pie? Had it. Just wanted to tell you how happy I am that you can make it to Gummy's party. Are you kidding? I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Me neither. When Pinkie Pie throws a party, I am there. Ta-da! Aw, just a boring old apple. Don't worry, there are plenty of other surprises in there. <clears throat> what kind of surprises? I can't tell you that, silly. Then it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> this punch is simply divine. Is this the same recipe you used for your spring has sprung party? Nope, something new. It's Gummy's favorite. Mm. Parties, Pinkie Pie. They're always the best parties because my best friends are always there. Yeah! Come on, everybody! Gummy wants to dance! Go, Gummy! It's a birthday! Go, Gummy! It's a birthday! Woo I am beat. I haven't danced that much since, well, since your last party. Thanks again for the invite. See you later, birthday alligator. Bravo for hosting yet another delightful soiree. It's been lovely. You sure you don't want to stay? There's still some cake left. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass. Great party, though. We should do this again soon. <gasps> we should do this again soon! It's soon! Pardon me? You said we should have another party soon, and it's soon! Here's your invitation! You're invited to Gummy's After Birthday Party this afternoon at 3 o'clock. All our bestest friends are invited, and there's gonna be dancing and games and cake and ice cream and punch! This afternoon? As in, this afternoon this afternoon? Yes, indeedy! Oh, gosh. I wish I could make it, but I've gotten a bit behind in my studies. I've really got to hit the books. I understand. Your studies come first. But don't worry. We'll be sure to save you some cake. Please do. Oh, and Twilight, you shouldn't hit the books. You should really just read them. I'll keep that in mind. Huh? Oh, hi, Pinkie Pie. What brings you around these parts? Who's ready to shake their 
Kaboom Fang! It's an invitation to Gummy's after birthday party this afternoon. There's gonna be dancing and games and cake and ice cream and punch. This afternoon? As in this afternoon, this afternoon? That's funny. That's just what Twilight said. And the answer is yes. It's this afternoon. Oh, uh, well, I, I, uh, I don't think I can make it because uh, I have to, uh, uh, you know what? I, uh, pick apples. Yep, apples. Because that's what we do with the apples. We uh, pick them. <laughs> Okie dokie dokie. A party is still a party, even if there are only three guests. <sighs> Anything else I can do for you, most beautiful one? <laughs> Perhaps you could take a bath. How do I put this delicately? You smell like a rotten apple core that's been wrapped in moldy hay and dipped in dragon perspiration. <sighs> Ooh, love the new hat. Very modern. What's the occasion? Gummy's after birthday party is this afternoon. I'm delivering the invitations. The party is this afternoon? As in, this afternoon, this afternoon. It's so strange. Every pony keeps saying that. Oh, do they? I know it's short notice, but we had such a great time at his birthday party, I thought we could have even more fun at his after birthday party. And I'm sure that we would, but I'm going to have to decline. I have to wash my hair. Don't be silly. Your hair doesn't look dirty. It doesn't? Nope. See? <laughs> dirty. I have to go. Huh. No Twilight, no Applejack, no Rarity. Oh well, a party is still a party even with only two guests. This afternoon? As in... Yes! afternoon this afternoon. Oh, man, we'd love to, but we're house-sitting this afternoon. <sighs> Both of you? It's a, a big house. Uh, look at the time. We'd really better get going. What? <gasps> Maybe I could bring you some after birthday cake and ice cream. Who are you house-sitting for? Harry. Harry? Yeah, I don't think you know him. That's strange. I know just about every pony around here. He's a bear. A bear? Yep, he's a bear, all right. And he'll be pretty upset if we don't get over to his house soon. <laughs> what? There's a bear around here who lives in a house? It's uh, really more of a cave. But he's fixed the place up so much it feels like a house. And uh, he wants us to look after his house, a uh, cave, while he's... Uh... At the beach. He's vacationing at the beach? Yep, he loves to... Collect Play beach volleyball. Play beach Collect volleyball. seashells. Collect Play seashells. Gotta go. Something strange is definitely going on around here, Gummy. Sure, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy had to house it for that vacationing bear, but what are the chances all my other friends would have plans this afternoon too? Rarity has to wash her hair. Applejack has to pick apples. Twilight is behind on her studies and has to hit the books. The more I think about it, the more those are starting to sound like <gasps> excuses. <laughs> that doesn't look like studying or hitting. Oh, you must be here for Shh. Is Pinkie Pie around? Oh, I don't think so. Good. I don't want her to know anything about this. Yes, of course. I'll be right back. But we're friends. What wouldn't Twilight want me to know anything about? Oh, she's coming back. There you go. Thanks. And remember, not a word to Pinkie Pie. Hey, what's with the tin can?
her cover's been blown. We'll need a new disguise. She didn't see you at the sweet shop, did she? I don't think so. Oh, good. I'd hate for her to ruin everything. Me too. She was planning on throwing an after-birthday party today? I'm just glad I was able to come up with an excuse for why I couldn't be there. Me too. This is obviously going to be so much better. As long as we keep her from finding out about it, it will. See you later. Every pony loved my parties. Hi, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> uh oh. Rainbow Jack, wait! Yeah. Where are you going? No, uh, I mean, yes, I mean, you can't come in here. Rainbow Dash just went in there. Oh, well, she was just bringing in some supplies. Yep, supplies for the renovation, fixing up the whole thing, top to bottom. Uh, lots of construction going on in there right now. You heard her? Construction. <laughs> Yep, construction. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Okie dokie, Loki. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> they don't want me to know about. Well, I'm gonna know about it. I'm gonna know about it big time. And I know just who's gonna tell me all about it. Tell me all about it big time! Wow, nice spread. It's all yours, Spike. All you have to do is talk. That's it? Oh, you got it. Okay, uh, beautiful weather we're having, eh? I love a sunny spring day, don't you? The birds chirping, and flowers blooming. No, no, no. Talk about our friends. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, there's Twilight Sparkle. She's a unicorn. Good with magic, real brainiac. And then you got Rarity. Total knockout. Twilight seems to think I don't have a chance with her, but eh, what does she know? Let's see, there's, there's Fluttershy, a Pegasus afraid of heights. <laughs> What's up with that? No, you're not understanding me. I want you to confess! Confess? Confess! I'm the one who spilled juice all over Twilight's copy of Magical Mysteries and Practical Potions! And? And I'm the one who used up all the hot water in Ponyville yesterday when I took a seven-hour bubble bath! And? 
And sometimes, when no one's around, I do this. Looking good, Spike, looking real good. No, 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 no! Well, what do you want to hear? Uh, tell me what you want me to say and I'll say it. Tell me that my friends are all lying to me and avoiding me because they don't like my parties and they don't want to be my friends anymore! <sighs> your friends are all lying to you and avoiding you because they don't like your parties and they don't want to be your friends anymore! Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! Oh no, my friends don't like my parties and they don't want to be my friends! So... Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for coming. It means so much to Gummy. Could I have some more punch? Well, of course you can have some more punch, Mr. Turnip. This is one great party. You really outdone yourself. Why, thank you, Rocky. I'm having a delightful time as well. I'm so glad, Sir Lancelot. My dad's got my elf of a little slice of cake. Anything for you, Madame LaFlower. I'm just glad none of them ponies showed up. Oh, they're not so bad. Not so bad? Police! They're a bunch of losers! Come on now. Losers might be a little strong, don't you think? After the way they treated you, I say losers isn't strong enough. Well, it was pretty rude. Pretty rude? It was downright despicable! It was, wasn't it? If I were you, I wouldn't speak to them ever again. You know what? I'm not going to speak to them ever again. And I'm not going to invite them to another party as long as I live. They don't deserve to be invited to my parties. Not after the way they've been acting. These speak of us. losers. Yes, that's right. Well done. Yeah, you show them. Who could that be? Hey there, Pinkie Pie. Sorry I was in such a rush earlier. Had some place to be and couldn't slow down and say hello. You know how it goes. I don't know how it goes, all right. Yeah. So why don't you come with me over to Sweet Apple Acres? No, thanks. I'm spending time with my real friends. Isn't that right, Madame LaFlower? No, that is correct, Madame. Uh, Pinkie Pie? Another slice of cake, Sir Lancelot? I'd love one. All righty. What do you say we get on out of Creepy Town and head over to Applejack's? She's not going anywhere. I most certainly am not. I'm having a wonderful time right here. You should really just come with me. You heard the lady. She ain't going nowhere, chump. Who are you calling a chump, chump? Oh, that's it. Party's <laughs> over. Come on, Pinkie Pie. No. Pinkie Pie, let's go. I said no. <laughs> you <laughs> have to come with me. No. I don't. Oh, you want to do this the hard way? We'll do this the hard way! We're here! Surprise! I really thought she'd be more excited. Excited? Excited? Why would I be excited to attend my own farewell party? Farewell party? Yes! You don't like me anymore, so you decide to kick me out of the group and throw a great big party to celebrate! A farewell to Pinkie Pie party! Why in the world would you think we didn't like you anymore, Sugar Cube? Why? Why? Yeah, because we wanted your party to be a surprise. We've been planning this party for such a long time, we had to make excuses for why we couldn't attend Gummy's party so that we could get everything ready for yours. If this is a farewell party, why does the cake I picked up from Sugar Cube Corner say, Happy Birthday Pinkie Pie? Ah! 
because it's my birthday! Oh, how could I have forgotten my own birthday? <sighs> and you like me so much you decide to throw me a surprise party! That's what we've been trying to tell you, darling. You girls are the best friends ever! How could I have ever doubted you? It's okay, Pinkie Pie. It could have happened to any of us. Yes, <laughs> don't don't yeah. worry about it. I'm just glad I haven't been replaced by a bucket of turnips. Huh? You don't want to know. All right, girls, enough of this gabbing. Let's party! <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, I am writing to you from the most delightful party. I am not only having a great time with my friends, but also was given the opportunity to learn a valuable lesson about friendship. Always expect the best from your friends and never assume the worst. Rest assured that a good friend always has your best interests at heart. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. You girls wouldn't mind if we celebrated Gum's after birthday party too, would you? His party was cut short and he's pretty upset about it. Oh, oh definitely. Oh, yeah, why right not? <laughs> Let's have a party for Gummy. <laughs> Again, Twy, you can do it! Phew, this spell's a toughie, but I feel lucky this time. One, two, ah! <laughs> Pinky, why'd you do that? Because hugs are fun and horrific, especially when you throw one around a friend. What you doing? Trying to turn that apple into an orange. Much you kind of threw her aim off. Whee! What a cute orange birdie! Do me next, Twilight! Do me, do me! <laughs> Ooh, Rarity, want to see Twilight turn me into an orange? It's gonna be fun a fun fun! As fun as creating this haute couture ensemble that I just finished making. Delightful, no? <gasps> this is terrible! I admit it's perhaps not my finest work, but I... You had total awesome, amazing fun and I missed out on it? <sighs> Wait, what if there's more awesome, amazing fun with friends happening somewhere going to go right now that I'm missing out on too? We weren't going to turn her into an orange, I swear. Hey, Rainbow Dash, what you doing? This punk cloud got so heavy it's making fog. Figure I'll thin this bad boy out so it floats back up. Woo, fun! <laughs> Gotta go! Uh, thanks, Pinky. Hey, Applejack! That looks like fun! Can I join you? Whee! Next time I'll pull you! There! You are doing anything fun? Not especially. Oh, good. Fun is hard. My little pony, my little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Feeling better, Pinky? Absolutely, Lutely. Thanks for letting me rest in your butterfly grow while I get my pinky strength back. What are friends for? That's just the thing! I've got so many wonderful friends having fun in every last corner of Ponyville, I can't figure out how to keep up with it all. It's driving me even more Coco local than usual! I can promise to not do anything fun at all if that would help. You are such a good friend. There you are, Pinky. Been looking everywhere for you, girl. Hey, Pinky. Got something fun planned this afternoon thought you might want to know about. <laughs> well, I'll be an apple crisp. I'm here for the same reason. This is perfect. Everyone will now bring their fun to me. <laughs> this will solve everything. Why didn't I think of that? Actually, what I meant is after I'm done whipping up today's weather, I'll be chilling by the lake catching some rays. Want to hang? I am so there. And my family's having a barn raising this afternoon at Sweet Apple Acres. And I'm also so there. Wee! 
But that's when I'll be at the swimming hole. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Whichever one you choose is okay with me. Me too. <gasps> choose? One, two... <laughs> are you doing now? Timing myself galloping back and forth between the swimming hole and Sweet Apple Acres. I'm trying to cut down my time so if Rainbow Dash dies off the swing, I can get to Sweet Apple Acres to help with the barn racing and then be back in time to see Rainbow Dash hit the water after doing a double flip. <sighs> if I can cut my time by only 20 minutes, I'm good. <laughs> oh, Pinky, I'm afraid no matter how hard you try, the only way to pull something like that off is if there's more of you to go around. That's it, Twilight! Legend of the Miracle! Legend of the who what now? Pinky! I'm familiar with loads of legends, and I never heard of... Does this mean practice is over? Of course not. Back to work. Seems like hardly any pony's been here in ages. I hope I'm remembering the rhymes right from my Nana Pinky's story. Where the brambles are thickest, there you will find... Uh, a pond beyond the most twisted of vines. Who is that? Oh, I heard a voice. Oh, <laughs> it was me. Scratching you, you brambles. Oh, and there's that voice again. Ah, Pinky, you have got to stop talking to yourself. Starting now. And into her own reflection she stared, uh, yearning for one whose reflection she shared, and solemnly sweared not to be scared at the prospect of being doubly feared. <laughs> wow, the legend is true, it really worked! Okay, wait, I promise not to talk to myself anymore. I should say something to her. Or would that still be talking to myself? Excuse me, hi! Can I have a word with you? Uh, I mean, me? Listen, I can see you're having lots of fun, but... Fun? Did somebody say fun? Where? I did. Over here. I thought someone said something about fun. Where is it? Over here? Over here? I don't see it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, calm yourself. There's loads of fun to be had in Ponyville with my girls. Trot on over back to Ponyville with me, and I'll tell you all about them. And then there's Rarity. She's the one with all the fancy clothes and ribbons and stuff. I'm thinking she can make us all matching t-shirts that say Team Pinky. And is this Ponyville? Where's the fun? Where's the fun? Uh, well, let's see. Applejack's having a barn raising at... <laughs> it's that away! Wait, come back! Don't forget to meet me back here to tell me everything about everything like I was there myself. Because I'm you and, and you're me and... Oh my gosh! This is the greatest plan ever! <laughs> now off to double my fun! Cloud-busting was tougher work than usual today. I'm kind of exhausted. That's fine. You relax. At least we'll still be together. Glad you made it, Pinky. I thought you maybe went to Applejack's instead. I did. Oh, the barn up yet? I have no idea. But I thought you said you were just at Applejack's. Actually, I'm probably still on my way there now. <laughs> Oh, Pinkie Pie, I'm so glad you wandered by. I know I promised not to have any fun today, but, oh, I couldn't help myself. All of my critter friends wanted a picnic, but I couldn't disappoint them. Come join us. We have plenty of hay juice and marmalade to go around. Don't we, critters? <laughs> Two fun things at once, but which, which, oh, can't decide. <laughs> Trouble breathing. <laughs> Walls closing up! Walls? But we're outside. <laughs> Goodness, was it something I said? Yes! Huh? 
So you see, that's how I'm able to have fun in two places at once. Duplicates of you, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure, Pinky. Look, I was just gearing up to catch some Z's, so, uh... Gotcha! I'll have the rest of my fun really quietly. How'd you do that? Just trying to show a little consideration for my sleepy friend. Ooh, ooh, got a run! Looks like I'm trying to get my attention. Excuse me. And me. Ooh, ooh, tell me all about it! Do they pull the walls of the barn up slow or fast? I, maybe slow to medium fast, somewhere in that range? I, ooh, did you get ice cream? What kinds did they have? Banana prickle? I didn't make it! I was on my way there and then Fluttershot her. Fluttershot, yeah, her. She offered something else fun for me to do. A picnic with cute little animals. Ah, uh, how could you say no to that? That's what I'm saying! But then I would have missed this super fun thing with applesauce. Applejack. No, I didn't do anything fun at all! Oh, my poor, poor me. There, there. Tell me what, we just need a couple more Pinkie Pies. Easy peasy. Really? Come on, would I lie to me? And, and solemnly swear, swear not to be scared in the prospect of being doubly fair. Look, a double me! I think you mean a double double me? Plus another double double me, which makes two double double me's, or a double 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 me, if you will. <laughs> Did somebody say fun? Where? Fun, 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 fun! fun, 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 fun. Pinkie Pie, in case we get an extra invite from somebody else. Perfect. Okay, let's go. And so I swear, swear not to be scared of the prospect of being doubly fair. Okay, good enough. Pinkie Pie's moving on. Not to be scared of the prospect of being doubly fair. What in the name of Pink? Knock it off! <laughs> Okay, between the bunch of us, we should have every nook and cranny of Fun and Ponyville covered at all times. An unprecedented and massive undertaking. But first, a pop quiz on the names I taught you. Applejack. Fluttershy. Pinkie Pie. Excellent. Okay, let's get on with this, folks. Fan out on three. One. <laughs> Good enough. La 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 She's gonna love this! Oh, if I push her around on this floaty thing, it'll be fun and relaxing. Uh, oh. No more pinkies! I can't take it! Gosh, uh... I wonder what fun they're having raising the barn at Applejack's right now. Maybe I better go check. <laughs> came from so I can find out who's responsible for y'all ruining our bomb race. Uh, you look pretty busy right now, so uh, uh, maybe we should talk a little later? Fun! 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 Y'all come back here and clean up after yourselves this instant! Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? My poor friends! Okay, everypony, please, 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 calm down. Calm down? I just had a pinky hurricane raging through my shop. And they trashed our critter picnic. Oh, what, what, what is that, that all about? Please, everypony, hang on while I try to figure something out. Come on, Spike. 
I've got to try to remember the name of that legend she mentioned. Legend of the Mirror Pond. It describes a spell I can use to send them back where they came from. That's perfect. Let's go. But there's a catch. If I can't figure out which one's the real Pinky, I might send her back by mistake. Well, we'll just have to figure out who the real one is then. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh. Does any pony here know how we can tell the real Pinkie Pie from all the rest of them? Uh, I don't know. Twilight, I have to talk to you. I need your help. Excuse me, whoever you are. But I'm not talking to any of you pinkies unless you're the real pinky. Oh, but, but I am the real pinky! No, you're not! I'm the real pinky! I'm the real pinky! No, I'm the real pinky! I'm the real pinky! No, I'm the real pinky! I'm the real pinky! I'm the real pinky! Now, in our nation, are we supposed to tell which is the real pinky? I have no idea. Me either! Oh, we've all got the same adorable tails! We've all got the same adorable manes! We've all got the same adorable hooves! Which one of us is the real Pinky? Uh, I haven't the slightest clue! And if I can't tell us apart, who can? <laughs> Hopeless. Maybe that one's the real Pinky. Please, the real Pinkie Pie never sat that long in one place her whole life. I'm gonna go ask. Of course she's gonna say she's the real Pinky. They all do. You're wasting your time. So let me guess. You're the real Pinkie Pie. Heck if I know. Could be any one of us if you ask me. And if I said I was the real Pinky, you wouldn't even believe me anyway. So just leave me alone. I've got some important poke in the ground with my hoof to do. Oh, Spike, how are we gonna do this? I can't risk sending the real Pinky back into the pond. I miss the real Pinky. <sighs> I bet she misses you too. Bet she'd do just about anything to get to be with her friends again. Hey! Hey! What if you gave them a test? Pick something really hard for a Pinky to do. Something not fun at all. Any Pinky that can do it goes back into the pond. But whoever wants to stay the most, that must be the real Pinky. You know, that's not a bad idea. This is great! If I pass, I get to be with my friends again! <gasps> but what if I don't pass? Oh, what if I'm not the real Pinkie Pie? No! Oh, stupid magic mirror water! This is all your fault! And mine. Hey, Twilight! I've been looking all over for you, ponies. What are you all doing here? Fluttershy spoke with the woodland critters, and they've agreed to take us into their home till the pinky storm dies down. You guys, we're gonna fix this, and I know exactly how. Are we gonna lose our real Pinkie Pie? I don't think so. Now come along. I've already got Applejack and her family rounding up all the Pinkies. <laughs> yeah, the Pinkies! Yeah! They wanna play chase! This is fun, too! Welcome, Pinkies, welcome. Please have a seat and make yourselves comfortable. Okay, I suppose you can't be comfortable staying in one place, but have a seat anyway. Sit down! Better. Now, I suppose you're all wondering why I've gathered you all here today. For fun? No, just the opposite, actually. Wait up! I got one more! Found this one poking at the ground with her hoof, drawing brownie faces. Have her come sit with the others. Pinkies, you've been brought here to take a test. Aww. Don't worry, it's a simple test. About as simple as they come. And whoever passes gets to stay. <laughs> Curtain, please. The test will be watching paint dry. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! Whoa, this is so exciting! Okay, maybe not that exciting.
Oh, hey, look at the birdie! <laughs> look away now. I passed? You passed. You're the only Pinky who kept staring at the wall. I had to. I just had to. I couldn't leave my friends. I just couldn't. But I guess sometimes I will have to choose between them. Knew you'd be up to the challenge. I'm me. I'm me. I'm me. Or am I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Dear Princess Celestia, it's great to have fun, but it's even greater to have great friends. And having lots of friends means that you sometimes have to make choices as to whom you'll spend your time with. But that's okay, because good friends will always give you lots of opportunities to have fun. So even if you're missing out, it's never for long. Respectfully yours, Pinkie Pie. Hi, Pinkie Pie. We were thinking we should go out and celebrate. You up for some wheelbarrow races? Or I could take every pony on a cloud ride. I could throw a party with punch and zesty cucumber sandwiches. Ooh. You want to know exactly what I feel like doing right now? <sighs> that looks like fun. <laughs> 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 Silly. <laughs> Just some genealogical research. Oh! I don't know what that is. Genealogy is a study of family history. You know, where ponies come from and who they're related to. Ooh, fascinating. Maybe you should pick one from the top. Uh huh. Interesting. I see. Well, that makes sense. Not much of a surprise there. What? This is the most amazing thing ever! Why didn't you tell me how amazing this is? Genealogy is better than cotton candy on top of a fountain of chocolate! You'll never believe who it says I'm related to! Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? <laughs> this is just so exciting, I can't hardly believe it. tone it down a little bit around non-family members because I don't want to make them jealous, but... This is the best family ever! 
It really is. You are gonna love being an apple. I mean, you've got the playful one. The strong one. Yep. And of course, there's Granny Smith, who knows everything about everything. A Ponyville snail can hibernate for up to 48 moons. Who knew? And then there's me. <sighs> you smell that sweet apple air, Pinkie Pie? That was rhetorical. <laughs> of course you smell it. You're an apple now. And Applejack is the one responsible for it. Oh, Apple Bloom, that is sweet, but... It's true. I mean, she keeps us all organized and on schedule and does her own part on top of it all. Mm -hmm. I was already super happy as a pie, and now I get to be a part of this amazing family, too? It's even more amazing now that you're in it. We're family. We're family. You and me are family. Best family twirl I just can't believe we've never heard anything about this before. Hmm. What's wrong, sis? I'm not seeing where exactly it says we're family. It's right here. It is? Uh-huh. Applesauce of the Apple family lineage is a fourth cousin twice removed from the pie family. I see the part about our great great Annie Applesauce and fourth cousin twice removed part, but that last bit's awful smudged. Are you sure it says pie? I guess it is a little smudged, but I see most of it there. And when I read it, I knew in my heart it was true. Well, ain't that just the sweetest thing? It is, it is. I just hate for us to get all excited before we found out for sure. So how are we supposed to find out for sure? Yeah. Ah! Cousin Gold is delicious! Her cabin's practically an apple family history museum! If any pony has the records to back up Pinky's theory, it's her! Huh. I suppose we could always... I mean, Goldie Delicious doesn't live all that far away, and we haven't been on one as a family in a real long time. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? Family Road Trip! Has any pony seen my traveling bonnet? Isn't that it on your head? No. It looks an awful lot like... Well, it ain't an ass final. Hey, every pony, since Pinkie Pie's back home getting her stuff for the trip, can y'all gather around? I just wanted to say something real quick. Oh, I've had something in my teeth this whole time, haven't I? Dad Snickety, what a way to welcome a family member. Uh, no, Granny, your teeth are fine. I just wanted to be sure that we're all on the same page about showing Pinkie Pie how awesome a family we really are. We want her to get to know the family she's been born into. But, like, the best version of it, you know? Oh! Don't you worry, honey. We're a great family, and she can't help but see it. I bet my future cutie mark's gonna be a picture of me being the best behaved pony ever. <laughs> That's how good I'm gonna be. Big Mac? <laughs> yup. Because I'm ready to go, go, go! The uh, Big Mac, are you sure we really need all that stuff? Yep. Are you sure you're strong enough to really pull all that stuff? Yep. Are you sure the wagon's strong enough to hold it all? Uh, yep. Then let's get this show on the road! Austria and beyond. 
Big Mac, I thought you said... I thought... I mean, not that I'm blaming you because we don't blame in this family, but I thought you said all this stuff wasn't going to be too heavy. How are we supposed to get to Goldie Delicious now? I don't know, but I don't see how we can go back now either. We're closer to Cousin Goldie's than we are to home. <gasps> I have the best idea ever! Family River Trip! <laughs> Just one problem. We haven't got a raft. About the only thing that didn't get packed. Well, back in the old days, we used to use a sap from a sugar pine tree to glue things together. That is, uh, fascinating. Don't know that it's helpful, but it is fascinating. Not helpful, my patootie. We're gonna build ourselves a raft out of these here jalopy parts and keep it held together with sugar pine sap. <laughs> Worth the shot. Could be worse, I guess. Now remember, this time we're only packing the necessities. Wait a second! Pinkie Pie, when did you have time to make this? Applejack, when you're family, you make the time. <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! Say, soaked! So, what you're saying is, if I have the courage to jump, the parachute will open. Yep. Whoa! That is deep. Yep. Uh-oh. All right, y'all. Please tell me that the map didn't get wet, because it looks like I'm going to need it right about now. Found it! Who's got the map? I got the map. And for the A to the Yell Tried P. Ain't no other pony found a map like me. I'm a fool. Uh-oh. <gasps> All you had to do was bring it to me. No singing, no dancing, no guides. Just walk it over. Yup. Say best siblings ever! Ooh, that's another keeper! It's okay, y'all. I travel down this river as a filly, and I know it like the back of my house. Are you sure you know which way to go? Does a June bug like to hide in a tree? Uh, I don't know. Well, I do know. And I also know we want to head southeast. Now step aside, youngin. Um, Granny? Yeah? Are we supposed to go through a cave? Ah, oh, don't worry, child. The scariest cave in Equestria was down that other way. The scariest cave in Equestria? Oh, it's a fright, all right, filled with creatures that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Ooh, sounds scary. Tell us more. Ponies go in, but they never come out. And you're sure it's not that cave? The one we're heading straight for? Now, Applejack, I taught you better than to question your elder ponies. <laughs> you sure did. All righty, then. Now every pony just sit on back and leave the steering to your old Granny Smith. <laughs> See now, told you this. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> through it. Unexpected adventure is good for the soul. That's Granny wisdom ever. Uh-huh. Why don't you just scooch on over there, Granny? Think I'll take it from here on out. Uh, is that how I taught you to treat your elder ponies? Ooh, ooh, is it? You taught me to trust my common sense. And my common sense says we should get to Goldie Delicious's cabin in one piece. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. That is 
mighty generous of you, but I think you've done enough for one day. And how exactly are you going to know which way to go? Hmm? It would be easier if the map hadn't gone overboard. Hey! There wouldn't have been an overboard if Big Mac hadn't overpacked the jalopy. Yeah. Hey! Exactly. So I think we can all agree that from here on out, I should be in charge of everything. <laughs> I just want to say that I think you are all super duper, and I can't wait to make the page of my scrapbook about the amazing waterfall we went down. That sugar pine sap would hold this thing together. could read that one out loud. All right, sorry. I haven't even read it yet. I was just looking at how pretty the paper is. Okay, it says that she ran off to run some errands, but we'll be home soon. Oh, uh, that's perfect! Why is that perfect? Because it'll give me enough time to get more scrapbook paper. See ya! Worst family road trip ever. <laughs> yup. I can't believe she witnessed our family falling apart like this. <sighs> I can't believe I was arguing with you so much that I tore the wheel right off the raft. It's like I wasn't myself at all. Oh, that wasn't your fault. My stubborn streak got a hold of me something fierce. Should've let you take the wheel long before that. It was my fault the map got all wet. And I was the pony. Now, now, Big Mac, you gotta know we forgive you for packing the jalopy so much that it collapsed. You was just eager to please Pinkie Pie like the rest of us. Every pony, I think we have to let Pinkie Pie know that even if she does discover that she's an apple, she does not have to feel obliged to consider herself one. Sure is applesauce. Are you kidding me? You guys are the best family ever. How can you say that? We started out as one big unit, and now look at us. Yeah, now look at you. You're all here still in one big unit, loving each other and owning up to what went wrong. You never gave up, even when things got tough. She does make a pretty good point. You aren't just family, you're best friends. <laughs> and I want to be an apple more than ever, and we want you to be one too. Yippee! <laughs> now that's how you run an errand. Hello. Hello yourself. You must be Goldie Delicious. So nice to meet you. Uh-huh. And who exactly are you? We're apples! Well, we think we're all apples, but we need your help finding out if Pinkie Pie here is our fourth cousin twice removed. Well, why didn't you say so? If any pony can help solve this genealogy mystery, it's me. <laughs> oh. I am sorry about this. <laughs> I wasn't exactly expecting company. Uh, let me try to squeeze in here. Oh. Oh. Get, a, get some oil. <laughs> for the, the hinges. And... Oh. All righty then. We have to move a few things out of the way of the doors. Oh. Ah. Oh. Get off of that, Mr. Puppy. Okay. Mm. Come on, Pooples. Mm. Come here, sweetheart. Come on in. Sorry about the mess. Whoa. 
Oh, careful now. Those belong to your great, 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 great Uncle Appertard. Well, whose was this? Well, that was my lunch a couple of weeks ago. Complete record of our family tree. It's not here, or here, or here. Well, it certainly isn't here, is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What is it? Am I not an apple after all? Well, that's just it. I don't know. The page is all smudged. <laughs> well, I sure am sorry, but I don't think I can help you after all. Don't be sorry. It's okay. I'm just a little disappointed that I'll never know for sure if I'm a part of this family. Well, I know for sure. What do you mean? You can't know. I can know for sure that it doesn't matter what the book says or doesn't say. After all you've been through with us and all you've put up with, it's obvious you're an apple to the core. Guard Tootin! Yes, sir, right! <clears throat> yep. Best family hug ever! Thanks again for the wagon, Goldie. We'll see you soon. Hey, y'all sure you don't want to take any of these Apple family heirlooms home with you? how being a good family isn't about being perfect as much as it is about being able to get through the rough patches together. About being able to forgive each other for mistakes. Don't forget to mention how really good friends can also feel like they're family. Yep. You know what? Maybe I should write it. I'm good at making things sound exciting. I have a history of excellent storytelling. I should probably do it. Hey, where in the haystack do you think you're going with that there pan? Um, Come on, I'm Well, Boneless, looks like our work here is done. Yep, those ponies never partied so hard. Thanks to me, cheese. Cheese sandwich. <laughs> That was a doozy! Well, Boneless, looks like our next party is gonna be in Ponyville. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Super Party Pony Pinky Pie! She planned our first full 
shower where we played all sorts of games. Having so much fun as we chose Pound and Pumpkin's names. She planned my quinceanera, my dad made me, I won't lie. I demanded all the best, I suppose she passed the test. Sure it was pretty good, all thanks to Pinkie Pie. Thanks, I guess. What color paints do you need? I'm gonna need the full rainbow. A paintbrush too? Yes, if you please. And what from me? Your biggest banner. This party's gonna be the best. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Every single day. My little pony. My cheesy sense was a tingling, telling me a party was in the works. A cheesy sense? Ah, double amazing! I have a pinky sense! Yes, I sensed you did. And I happen to be the premier party planner in all of Equestria. If there's a party in need, there I'll be. Be it Wing Ding, Ho Down, Hoot Nanny, or Shindig, I'm your pony. What? Making this party epic! Cause this isn't just any birthday. It's also the anniversary of when I moved to Ponyville. Good heavens, Rainbow Dash. It's your birth anniversary. Exactly! So what do you say, party planners? Oh, I think we can do it. Oh, I don't think so. <gasps> I know so! After all, the super duper party pony, that pony is me. I always knew that was the kind of pony I would be. Me too. Come on, ponies, who here likes to party? <laughs> you do, I can tell. When I was but a little cold, I just wanted to play. Like but every pony told me, geez, that fun just wastes the day. Yes, yes. But when I threw a party and I busted out some moves, uh -huh. the ponies finally saw the light and got into the groove. You know it. The super duper party pony, that pony is me. You'll never meet another party pony quite like cheese. Uh, Pinky? Hey, good looking, want some mayonnaise? My parties are all off the hook. I never plan them by the book. I start out fun and whoopsie daisy. Everybody just gets crazy. Board of snacks made by your mom. How about a giant party bomb? Get pinatas filled with cake or dive into my fruit punch lane. Geronimo! The super duper party pony, that pony is me. You'll never meet another party pony. I'd like cheese. Come on, kid, take it for a spin. Golly, thanks, mister. Oh, when I throw a cheese party, be sure to not be lame. And miss my pipe fights, wacky kites, and streamers in your mane. Fizzy drinks, Hawaiian shirts, and free fondue delight. You know that with cheese sandwich, you'll be partying all night. Come on, everybody, let's party down with cheese. You're really a certified party pony? That's right, that's my guarantee. A super duper party pony, that pony is me. But what about the super party pony named Pinky? Yeah! <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I'm so stoked you're here, cheese sandwich. Yeah. 
sure did come on the right day. <sighs> Your party sounds simply divine. <laughs> We're so lucky to have you here. Just doing my job, little fillies. I mean, Pinkie Pie's parties are fun and sweet and all, but now this party's gonna be... Epic? You said it! Oh, Thank you! Uh, <laughs> no offense, Pinkie. Uh, none taken. Cheese sandwich. <laughs> you got that right, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> All right, party ponies. I've got some planning to do. <laughs> Pinky, aren't you gonna help Cheese Sandwich plan the party? Well, that's okay. <laughs> he obviously has what it takes to do it all by himself. <laughs> really? Yes, indeedy! <laughs> After all, if Cheese really is the super duperiest party in his pony of them all, maybe that means I'm not. For all my life, all I've wanted to do Was make my friends want to smile true But maybe I was wrong And Pinkie Pie shouldn't plan parties at all I'll try to get up on my hooves And try at your superior party planning expertise, Cheese Sandwich. <laughs> well, they don't call him the Super Duper Party Planner for nothing. That's it. This pony has got to get her title back. And I know just what to do. Totally awesome! <laughs> Best I've ever seen. I can't believe it. Ooh, that is stupid. Amazing. <gasps> Challenge you. To a goof off! <gasps> <gasps> oh no, not a goof off. What's a goof off? I have no idea. <laughs> this cheese has stood alone a long time, Pinkie Pie. 
You think you can out-goof me? Well, I don't think so. I know so! And the stakes are high, cheese sandwich. Whoever wins will be dubbed the ultimate super-duper party pony and headline the Rainbow Dash Birth of Earth's Rain Bash! And the loser... does it! <gasps> so, are you in cheese? Or are you boneless? No pony calls me boneless. Right, boneless? Then the goof off is on for high noon. Um, Pinky, it's already three o'clock. Oh, oh well then. Make it three ten. Ten goof off. Every pony. According to my official goof off rule book, she actually has a goof off rule book? Are you kidding? Twilight can find a rule book for everything! Shh. The two competitors have free range to goof about, be it by singing, dancing, playing, prancing, joking, or performing, to make the judge chortle, chuckle, giggle, guffaw, hoot and holler, whoop it up, and party down! The funnier, sillier, wilder, and goofier, the better. Rainbow Dash, since the winner will be headlining your party, you are the judge. <laughs> Big, tense competition on my birth anniversary. What could be better? Cheese sandwich. Pinkie Pie, are you ready? I was born ready. I was ready before I was born. Then, let the goofing begin! <laughs> But you're feeling just a little uptight. Call the doctor, beg and plead. Doctor, tell me what I need. Try to put a little cheese in your knee. Bubbles and balloons, bubbles and balloons. What's a birthday party with the bubbles and balloons? Star shaped your trapezoid. Look what I can do. Only Pinkie Pie can make a bubble shape like you. Just let yourself go floppy. For now, this is your chance. Yes, I do. It fills my heart with sunshine all the while. Yes, it does. Cause all I really need is a small, small smile from these happy friends of mine. That's my song! What do you mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I do? Yes. You get to headline Rainbow Dash's party. But what about you, Pinky? I... I don't. Pinky, wait! I'm sorry I got all swept away by Cheese Sandwich. We all are. I don't know what got into me. Uh, sorry, Pinky. No, I'm sorry I let my pride get in the way of you having the best birth anniversary ever. 
Cheese Sandwich really is a super duper party planner, and he'll be a terrific headliner. I should have been a big enough pony to admit that and let you have your day. But don't you get it? You're both super duper party ponies. Sure, Cheese Sandwich is a great guest party pony, but you're Ponyville's permanent party pony. No pony could ever take your place, and we could never have a party without you. Rainbow Dash is right. I never meant to take your place in Ponyville. I just wanted to show you what a great party pony I am, Pinky. Why me? Well, I fear I told a little fib about my pony past. I hope that when you hear the truth, you will not be aghast. I wasn't quite the super party pony like I claim. The fact is that I was so shy, no pony knew my name. I stumbled into Ponyville one afternoon by chance and found the biggest ever celebration party dance. Everything was perfect, cheer was filling up the place. And I saw that every pony had a smile upon their face. I vowed that day to change my life, the past I did set free. For now, Cheese Sandwich was a party pony full of glee. A super duper party pony, that's what I became. I traveled all Equestria and all did know my name. But that never would have happened on my own, I'll tell you why. For the one who threw that party, it was you, Pinkie Pie. Me? Yes! So I was the pony that threw the awesomely spectacular party that inspired you to become an awesome spectacular party thrower? Swear on Camembert! Come with the warm, fuzzy stuff, you two. It's my birth anniversary, and you've got to throw me a bash! Yeah! Let's go! Super duper party, party ponies, that is me and you. A party throw by one is good, but not as great as two. Come on and let's join forces, that ties the expertise. Now let's all go to the party, plan my pinky pie and cheese! <laughs> all right, every pony, we are here to celebrate the birthday. That's all I needed to hear, little filly. Just a little memento of my visit. You're giving me your special rubber chicken friend? Oh, he's not the only one. Well, boneless too, another job well done. But it's time we mosey along. Another town, another party. I never did get that pony's name. Cheese Sandwich! <laughs> oh, yeah. You look nervous. There's no reason to be nervous. Nothing to worry about. Everything's gonna be fine. Twilight, tell those butterflies in your tummy to beat it. Making new friends is always fun. Oh, They're probably just as nervous as you are. You've been planning this shindig for weeks. You know everything about these fellers. It's gonna be dandy. 
You're right. Remember, Equestria and Yak Yakistan haven't opened their borders for hundreds of moons. In fact, Yak Yakistan is so far north of the Crystal Mountains, no pony's even been there. Imagine the look on Princess Celestia's face when she finds out we made friends with a Yak Prince. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm calm. Ponies! Greetings, ponies! Prince Rutherford, your majesty. On behalf of all of us, I welcome you to Equestria. Me honored. Yaks hope for great friendship between ponies and yaks. Friends for a thousand moons! <laughs> you must be hungry after your long journey. We've prepared a banquet of traditional yak foods. If things not perfect, yaks get mad. Yaks always get mad when things not perfect. Ooh. This no tastes like yak food. Fake pony food make yaks mad. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Them yaks sure have a funny way of saying howdy. That's all. Very different. I think they broke my record for most stuff broken in under a minute. I mean, they even broke the trophy. All we have to do is show them how great it can be to have friends before Princess Celestia arrives for the friendship party tonight. Now, who read the seven-volume cross-index history of Yak Yakistan I recommended? Um, I, I had a thing. I did, I did! Did you know they live so far north of the Crystal Empire that it's cold all the time? Yaks have yak fur to keep them warm. Pretty sure that's what fur's always for, Pinkie Pie. I know! Yaks are so cool! Pinkie Pie, can you show them around town? I know you have to plan the friendship party, too, but it would really help make them feel welcome. Don't worry, they'll be in good hugs with me. Remember, we want to make sure Equestria feels like home. That means doing everything we can to make this place feel like Yak Yakistan. No problem. Good. Let's get out there and make some new friends. Oh, all right. <laughs> we know y'all are noble warriors who avoid the so-called finer things, so me and my family would be honored if you rested here in the barn during your visit. Applejack and I made hay beds like you're used to back in Yakistan. Hmm. This perfect. You can snooze here all afternoon because you're going to need a lot of energy for my party tonight. <sighs> That wasn't so hard. Wait! This not yak hay? Well, we didn't have actual hay from Yak Yakistan, but we tried our best to make it just like yours. Not perfect! Yaks destroy! <laughs> Pinkie Pie, what do we do? And now, for your entertainment pleasure, presenting animals! Yak Animals killed. Oh, thank goodness. Wait! These antlers lie! This not Yak Yakistani animals! Yak smash! Okay, well, there's still other things we can do. I think. Yes, they 
These are some of my favorite materials. Very rare. Imported from the Crystal Empire to match your northern sensibilities. I hope you'll find them... <laughs> delicious. <laughs> this don't taste like yak fabric. Yaks destroyed! <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. You just make it up to them somehow. Listen up. Tell your faces to hold on to their crowns, because they're about to get turned upside down. Hold your frown, face. Hit it, Rainbow Dash. Just like Yak Yak stands snow, right? Because snow is snow, no matter where it comes from. This not yak snow! Seriously? Seriously? You know, it's going okay. Satisfactory, I'd say. It could be better. It's not very good. It's a disaster! Pinkie Pie, tonight's Yak Yakistan theme party is more important than ever. You'll make them forget all about this afternoon, right? Because if it's not perfect, they're gonna smash everything. And I'm not sure how much more smashing this visit can take. I definitely will, I think, maybe? You're the best gosh darn party planner in Equestria. You'll show them a good time. You can do it. We have absolute confidence in your abilities, Pinkie Pie. It's going to be my most happy-tacular party ever! I hope! <laughs> Why are your eyes darting around like that? It's what I do when I'm not nervous! <laughs> Pinkie Pie, I don't know what we'd do without you. Me either! Gotta go! <gasps> They're working hard to make your traditional Yak Yakistan cake. Vanilla extract balance very tricky. Uh -huh. Do you mind, um, waiting here for one moment? <gasps> How's tonight's party coming? I'm doing what I can, but it's really up to you at this point. Pinky? Where are you? Did you find her? Angel and I searched the forest, but... Aerial Recon turned up nothing either. I searched the farm inside and out. No Pinkie Pie. But I did find a set of Granny Smith's dentures under the house. So, not a complete loss. She simply vanished! But the party, it's all we have left. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, I'll be back in time for the party. Love, Pinkie Pie. If Pinkie Pie says she'll be back in time for the party, she'll be back. We have to trust her, right? No reason to freak out! Don't worry, Twilight. When it comes to parties, I think she knows what she's doing. <sighs> You're right. Let's just focus on keeping the yaks happy till she's back. Piece of cake! The cake! One bite and you'll be transported right back to Yak Yakistan! <laughs> I hope. <coughs> Pony's too heavy on vanilla extract! We've never needed a party so badly. Next stop, Crystal Empire. And so, my quest begins. I know what you're thinking. Why go to Yak Yakistan alone, Pinkie Pie? Because I'm the party planner. 
This burden falls on my rump and my rump alone. If I want a great party, I gotta climb the mountains north of the Crystal Empire, find Yak Yakistan, and come back with something authentic! Know what I mean? Did we go the wrong way? Where's all the snow? Please tell me this is magical sand-colored snow! <laughs> nope! Sand. Definitely sand. Dodge City, end of the line, I'm afraid. All trains had to stop. Sheep decided to sit on the tracks. Curse you, sheep! Thanks for your help, Conductor. Cherry Jubilee! Pinkie Pie! I reckoned I eyeballed you crossing my way right now. How are you? You look amazing. I need help. I'm dandy as a daffodil and fit as a floribunda. What can I do you for? Have you heard of Yak Yakistan? Do you have any idea how I can get there? Mark your calendar, Missy, cause this right here's your lucky day. I'm heading north to the Crystal Empire myself for a delivery. I ought to warn you though, me and the boys are powerful tired cause we was up all night counting cherries. Hey there, wake up. Counting cherries? How many? 417,234. Yeah! Whoa! And so, my quest resumes. As I stare across the endless desert, I tell myself I will soon triumphantly enter the homeland of our noble guests and return with a prize to make the best party they've ever seen. Know what I mean? Jerry? Dreaming about a ravine. Ravine! That's what I said. <laughs> oh, music beautiful, but so. When Twilight told me to stall, I, I mean, entertain you, I, I thought, there's no way I could... Spike! Piano play itself? Music alive! We demand party! Party now, or Jack's no friends! No! Just a little longer. No more longer. We leave now. Yak, go to train. Return with more yaks. We declare war. <gasps> no, Pinkie Pie. What's this? <laughs> we panicked and tried to plan our own party. It's sort of... Panic fiend. The yaks are going home! This is awful! I wanted to surprise Princess Celestia. Now the only surprise is that I may have just started a war. There we were, face to face with Falling Pony Ravine. Down, down, down! And then suddenly... Pow! We were rescued midair by the Wonder Bulls. And then they gave me a ride to Manhattan. I joined a traveling band and we played some shows here and there. Got popular, almost made it big until creative differences tore us apart. And that's when I knew I had to get back on with my journey to the Crystal Empire, the gateway to Yakiakistan. And so, here I am. It was a major adventure that took most of the afternoon. Know what I mean? This is it, the northern boundary of the Crystal Empire. Beyond lies Yakiakistan. No pony who's attempted this climb has ever returned. Are you sure you have to do this? I do. Good luck, Pinkie Pie. How could 
can't she be so late to the party? This isn't like her. I'm sure she's trying her best. Pinkie Pie's tougher than she looks. I know you're right, but I wish she was here. I put too much pressure on her. I let every pony down, and Princess Celestia will be here any minute and see that I haven't made new friends. I've made new enemies. <sighs> Hi, my name is Pinkie Pie. I'm looking for Yak Yakistan. You know, faraway land, lots of yaks. Maybe you've heard of it? Whoa! Slow down! I can't understand a word you're saying. Right? I can't tell if my eyes are open or closed. I think I can see a little bit. Nope. Ooh. Look at these. Pinkie Pie's made files for every pony in town. With exactly what kind of parties we like. Pinkie Pie has a secret party planning cave? How cool is this? Twilight Sparkle likes vanilla ice cream, red balloons, dancing. That's right. But she's afraid of quesadillas. No, I'm not. They're just so... <laughs> cheesy. Just let every pony down. Look at here. It's notes for the party she wants to throw for her folks' 50th anniversary. But they ain't nearly that old. Huh. She's already planning their 100th, too. And their 500th? I had no idea she worked so hard on her parties. She may be more organized than you, Twilight. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. I just wish Pinkie Pie were here so we could tell her how much we all appreciate her hard work. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! I love you too! All of you! You're back! I tried to go to Yak Yakistan so I could bring something back for my party, but at the last second I made a mistake. <sighs> I worked harder on this party than any party ever, but I'm still just a big failure. Pinkie Pie, you're not a failure. What matters is how hard you try. Who else would have gone all across Equestria to plan one party? You know, the trip was really hard, but every pony I met along the way was so helpful. I just wish the Yaks could see how friendly and wonderful and great Equestria really is. <gasps> I just got the best party idea ever! It's too late. The Yaks left on the last train. Um, no, they didn't. Trust me, there are a whole lot of sheep out there. So, um, do we walk back up the slide or, or what? Jack stuck here? Why trains not work? I never thought I'd say this, but thank you, sheep! And now, if it's okay with you, it's party time! <laughs> wow, Pinky, this came together quick, even for you. What can I say? I'm good at what I do. Prince Rutherford, every time we tried to make something in Equestria feel like Yak Yakistan, we couldn't get it right. When I got back from my adventure, I realized something. We shouldn't try to make Equestria feel like your home. We should try to make you feel at home in Equestria. 
And that means showing you why we love it here, so you'll love it too. Pink Pony work hard to make Yaks feel at home. Now Yaks happy. No declare war. <sighs> Ponies and Yaks, friends. For a thousand moons? For a thousand moons! <laughs> I am very impressed, Princess. <laughs> Just doing my best to spread friendship. And you did a wonderful job of it. You and your friends. Pink Pony, you understand Yaks now. Ah, come here, you. She sure had a burr in her britches about something. So, where is she? Yeah, what is taking her so long? <laughs> Just kidding. You guys really need to look behind you once in a while. Uh, Pinky, you said you had something important to tell us. Not telling, so much as showing. In fact, what you're about to see may shake the very foundations of your perception for all time! Um, a cupcake? Yes! But wait, there's more! It's an invitation to visit the Cheese Sandwich Amusement Factory! Cheese Sandwich opened a factory? <laughs> what do they make there? Rubber chickens? That's ridiculous! They make way more there than just rubber chickens! <laughs> Gosh, Cheese hardly seems the factory type. I just assumed he'd continue to wander Equestria throwing parties. Still, you must be excited to see him. I am! I can't wait to tour his factory, catch up, have him tell me my life's purpose, swap gag tips. Whoa, whoa, what did you say? Uh, catch up? I mean, it has been a while. I think Applejack's asking about the part about cheese sandwich and your life's purpose. Oh, that. Yeah. It's just all of you have found your thing. You're gonna rule all of Equestria, Rainbow Dash is a Wonderbolt, Fluttershy has her animal sanctuary, Rarity has her boutiques, Applejack has that hat, and the farm, so that's like, Two things. I don't even have one. Huh. When I first got Cheese's invite, I was a little jealous. It felt like even he was moving on to bigger and better things, and every pony was leaving me behind. But then I realized Cheese Sandwich is a party pony just like me. If he figured out his purpose, he can help me figure out mine. I think talking to Cheese Sandwich is a great idea. But the only pony who can really find your life's purpose is you. I know, silly. That's why I'm going to visit Cheese Sandwich's factory, so I can ask him to help me. Uh, Pinky, are you sure this is edible? I am not. My little pony, my little pony. Could be until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. To have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Factory is shut tight. No pony ever comes out and no pony ever goes in, including you. So, move along. Oh, that's a shame. To think I came all this way because of this personal invitation from Cheese Sandwich himself. You, you have an invitation? Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Next time I get to push a button. Ooh, desolate -y. 
Should have gotten a big laugh. I wonder if we need to add more carpet rolls. I suppose it could be the mask. Let's try taking the nostril flare down 10%. Thoughts? I have a thought. Who are you? So sorry. Sans Smirk, Vice President of Amusement Integration. Mr. Sandwich is very excited you're here. If you'll just follow me, it's a short trip through the factory to Cheese's office. The fun is the factory stuff. We take a fairly serious approach to comedy here. Observe. Oh, look, a pretty flower. <laughs> the squirting flower is a classic. Oh, what if the flower was part of a shirt, but the flower didn't squirt, the shirt did? That is literally the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Come on, that's just off the top of my head. You probably get like 17,000 ideas like that from cheese every minute. We'd have to use a series of interconnected tubes in the fabric. What do you think of this? I think it's a whoopee cushion. Yes. But what if you made the embarrassing sound come from some pony else? I sit on it, but the sound comes from you. We could call it the ventriloquopy cushion. Wow. Yes. So, which way is Cheese's office again? Right, of course. It's been quite a while since we've had the opportunity to work with true comic inspiration like this. What about Cheese? Oh, one more thing. Our super slip banana peel. Still in development, but we think it's pretty special. <laughs> So, too slippery? Oh, what if instead of slipping, you were sticking one step on this banana peel and you can't get it off? <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Just wow. You're exactly the pony cheese sandwich needs to see. Great! Because he's exactly the pony I need to see. Uh, hello? Pinky, I'm, I'm glad you came. Did. Your factory is big. It really seems like you found your purpose, which is perfect since I came here for help. That is perfect. I knew I could count on you to help me. Well, that's triple perfect because, oh uh, wait, why do you need my help? Because, Pinky, I, I've completely lost my laugh. <laughs> It's not a joke. And even if it was, I I wouldn't be able to laugh at it. Right. Why don't we continue this discussion over some delicious canned peanut brittle? <laughs> wow, you did lose your laugh. That's horrible. Sorry to interrupt, but it occurs to me that a 7% tighter wind on the snake springs would yield a 12% increase in giggle output. This is why we're a team. Sans here has always been able to eke every last laugh out of my gags. Which, which is a help, since I haven't come up with any good ones in a while. Wait, so you can tell if a gag is funny or not, you just can't laugh at it? Yes! And it's torture! How did this happen? I don't know. Back when I was a party pony, I, I laughed at everything. I spread my party chair wherever it was needed. I even started making individual, one-of-a-kind novelty gags for each and every one of my parties. <laughs> Soon it 
Seemed like every pony in Equestria wanted one. <laughs> it was more work than my hooves could handle, but I didn't want to disappoint all those smiling faces. Luckily, Sand Smirk came to me with the idea for a factory, a gag factory. I could finally keep up with demand and make every pony happy. Soon we were sending gags all over Equestria. But then, one day, my laugh was just gone. I haven't left the factory since. I, I don't want any pony to see me like this. I, I mean, look at me. Boneless 2 doesn't even recognize me anymore. So, can you help me, Pinky? W what do you think? I think I've got two words for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry, because I'm going to get you your laugh back. Let's start with something small. Excuse me, Mr. Smirk. But is there something in my eye? Top-notch eye googling, Miss Pie. Mm. Why, thanks, Sandal Pal. Put it there. Uh... Oh, sorry about that. Let me make it up to you. How about some pie? <laughs> Googly eye to hoof buzzer to pie face pratfall. Mwah. Masterful. Mwah. Come on! Those classic bits put Rainbow Dash's funny bone in a cast for a week! Don't blame yourself, Pinky. Whatever I got, I got it bad. Hmm. Maybe we need to start even smaller. You can't run before you can walk. And you can't laugh before you can smile. And your smiler's all out of whack. Now, let's see what we're working with. Give me your biggest, bestest smile! <laughs> Am I doing it? Am I smiling? I feel like I'm smiling! Almost. Maybe I just need to spot you for a rep or two. <laughs> okay! You got this! It's so all you! Ready? Anything? Hmm. Good. I'm not giving up on you yet, Cheese. I know there's something somewhere that'll make you laugh. I just have to figure out where to look. I would like to take this opportunity to point out that we are in a gag factory. This is where the magic happens. Research and development. It's where we figure out the science of funny. How do you science funny? Of course, there's no one-size-fits-all joke. No grand unified gag theory. But if we figure out the funny of one gag, we can combine it with the funny of another gag and make a third, funnier gag. I guess that makes sense. Rule of threes. Hmm. One, two, three. Yep, that math checks out. Hmm. At this point, I'm willing to give anything a try. It seems we've exhausted every avenue that even the science of comedy can provide. That's it, then. What do you mean? <sighs> I appreciate everything you've done, Pinky, but if you can't make me laugh, no pony can. But, sir, you can't just surrender. It doesn't look like I have a choice. I need to figure out how to live without a laugh. I know you tried your best, but it's time you went home. <laughs> I, too, am horrified. So, that's it? You're all 
just giving up? I'm afraid Mr. Sandwich is right. You are the funniest pony in Equestria. And if you can't bring back his laugh, it is surely gone forever. But Cheese was just as funny as me. Uh, I can't believe that's all gone. None of us can. I shudder to think what will become of the factory. You're not going to close down, are you? I thought this place was Cheese's life's purpose. It certainly was mine. But if Mr. Sandwich has finally given up, there's only so long we can retool his old ideas before we run out of gags to produce. I don't suppose you'd consider working here. Your fresh take on our classic gags rivals Mr. Sandwich in his prime. I need to find my life's purpose, but I don't think that's it. I'm a party pony. I need to make ponies happy in real time. Ah, uh, yes. In our early days, nothing brought Mr. Sandwich more pleasure than seeing the laughter his gags brought to ponies first hoof. Guess it's back to the drawing board. Well, there will always be a place for you here if you change your mind. Hold on. What did you just say? There'll always be a place for you here. No, 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 before that. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> that was me! Nothing brought Mr. Sandwich more pleasure than seeing the laughter his gags brought to Pony's first hoof? Yes, that! We've been going about this all wrong! We don't need to make Cheese laugh. He needs to make us laugh! Cheese, I figured it out! I know why you can't laugh! What? Why? You started this factory because you didn't want to disappoint smiling faces. But in here, you can't see any. It does make a certain sense, sir. Spreading laughter has always brought you joy. But spreading laughter is what this factory does. Except you don't see it. You're a party pony like me. You need to make ponies smile in person. Here, just try it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> why did Boneless 2 cross the road? To prove to Boneless 1 he wasn't a chicken. Very funny, sir. Excellent joke. Oh, I mean, ha, ha, ha? Really? Sorry, not much of a laugher. Here, try me. I promise I'll laugh. Pinky, you laugh at everything. I appreciate what you're doing, but I think it's a cost laws. A, a, a lost cause. <clears throat> what was that? I'm, I'm sorry, but when you swapped the letters of those words, it was just a bit... Funny? Uh-huh. So you're saying it's a mix-up of the sounds that I just made that coaxed the snicker from your throat in a delicate cascade? If I did it one more time, if I reproduced that feat, Mixed up some letters here and there, you'd lily bath too sweet. <laughs> then that's all I need to do, that's who I need to be. I thought I needed laughter, but it has to come from me. Squirting flowers and knobby knees, rubber chicken's my expertise. If you want laughter, then stick with cheese. Yeah! <laughs> I suppose now I should amp things up to get the thing I'm after. Pull still apples around and change them passes to get laughter. Can't stop now, I'm on a roll, I've almost got it back. Bright folks like you aren't subject to my play on words attack. With something else I'll have to play to get me where I'm going. What you gonna do? Some comedia dell'arte. <laughs> to get the laughter flowing. And it's what I need to do, it's who I need to be. I thought I needed laughter, but it has to come from me. If you please, walk this way and I guarantee If you want laughter, then stick with cheese Accordion solo! And it's what I need to do, it's who I need to be I thought I needed laughter, but it has to come from me Whoopee cushions and dungarees ABCs. If you want laughter, then stick with cheese. <laughs> and now my biggest test, the hardest fish to fry. Ooh. A mind so analytical, a sense of humor dry. So
How did the laughing birds' eggs hatch? They cracked up! Sir, that is so ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> It's so good to have you back, sir. Finally, we can get the factory back to how things used to be. Sans, my good pony, I don't think I can run this factory anymore. But you can! Without you? Uh, I don't understand. Pinky was right. This is what I need! <laughs> I just can't have funny ideas. I need to wander the land and see ponies laughing at them. You can run the factory, but I need to live! And don't think I've forgotten about you, little buddy. I knew you'd be on board. And don't worry, out on Equestria, I'll have more great ideas for gags, and I'll send them all to you. Sir, are you sure this is what you want to do? Of course, it's my life's purpose. Hey, that's what I came here looking for. You did? <laughs> well, come on, let's figure it out. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm good. And then I said goodbye, and then I came here. Oh, and then I gathered you all together and started telling you about it. First, I said that... Well, that sounds like quite a trip. And she Sandwich just left his own factory? Yep, but I think Salt Smirk's hooves were the perfect ones to leave it in. As much as Cheese was born to wander equestrian and make ponies laugh in person, Sons was born to run that factory. And you don't sound so worried about finding your life's purpose anymore. Nope. I figured out Cheese and I are pretty much the same. We both need to see ponies laughing to feel fulfilled. And I already do that. My life is purposing itself all over the place. <laughs> I agree completely. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. I got you all a little something from a trip. Who likes peanuts?